What Noah's going to do on offense at the Madden Challenge. It was the Chris Johnson show. It says here at the Madden Bowl, it is all Bo. First and ten, and it's Bo Jackson trying to get outside. Interesting scheme. It didn't bring any defensive abilities to the game, Ty, but he's able to bring down Jackson for a loss of three on first down. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. How can he stop that Bo Jackson with no secure tacklers, no inside stuff? But here's Noah. You know, in some people's eyes, Noah is the top guy in our sport right now. He's the defending Madden Challenge champion. He won the last major tournament. So let's see if Scheman has an answer for him. Nice defensive stop on that first play. And it's Jackson up the middle. It was a nice stop on first down, but there goes Bo. And Bo Jackson is to open space. And when Bo Jackson gets to open space, you can't forget about it. Noah says it's already over. Second play of the game, and Noah goes to the house. That human joystick, you see how good that Bo Jackson is. Noah starting loud and emphasizing his ability to run the ball. Great drive right there by Noah. Second play of the game. I'm pretty sure it was Kendrick Lamar playing Madden when he saw that. He says, every time I hit the streets, I just see blocks, 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 blocks. The offensive line opened up a huge hole for Bo Jackson. Let's take a look one more time at our replay as Bo Jackson just hits the open field and wave goodbye. Yeah, a little dance move to start and then goes right up the hole all the way for an easy touchdown untouched. And you can see Noah already getting loud to start the game. If there's any thought that Noah was going to be quiet playing at home, I mean, I remember talking to his mom at the Madden Challenge. Ty, he, she said that Noah's a, usually a quiet Madden player at home. Uh, I, I feel like maybe she, she just has learned to tune out the yelling and screaming from young Noah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. He said he usually brings his dad to tournaments. That was the first tournament he brought his mom. And his mom got to see him on the stage, and boy, was he loud, and boy, did he make a run. But here we go. Now we get to see Scheman's offense. I'm really excited to see this. He's in that Baltimore Ravens playbook. I think we're going to see a lot of these, you know, kind of unique gun wing, gun doubles off, you know, QB run formation, some read options. Like we said about Scheman, he's very different. He's not going to run the metas. He said he has a plan for all these meta defenses with these unique offensive formations. And most of these players saying we couldn't really even game plan or build our team for him because he's so unique. We mentioned scheme and story, losing both his parents. He said that he wants to make sure that he mentions his mom and dad who are looking down on me from heaven. All my motivation is from them and the pain I battle every day missing them. Hashtag LMB forever with me. And he's looking for a little help from up above. Down by seven to Noah. And his first chance on offense. With that Michael Vick at quarterback, going to see him utilizing the passing and the running game. And in motion on first and 10, he's gonna give it to the man who led Noah to a challenge champion, Chris Johnson picks up four. Yeah, Scheman has a lot of speed on that offense. I think we're gonna see Scheman in probably at least five or six different formations, possibly more. He's really gonna spread out this Baltimore playbook. It's a very unique playbook, like I said. Second down and six. And you can already see two plays. How about two different formations already for Bam Scheme and John Ross in motion. And it's going to be Vic taking the quarterback around the left side. Noah prepared for that one, shaking his head, saying, you're not going to break one on me that easily. Goes with the QB power out of the shotgun wing formation. You know, the thing going up against Scheman is like, you don't really know what to expect versus him. I don't know if Noah's had a great scouting report. You know, Scheman hasn't said, he labs with Evil Ken, and Evil Ken is a legend in the Madden community, one of the best offensive players of all time. I don't think Scheman, you know, he doesn't have like a wide circle. He keeps his circle kind of small, so not a lot of people know what he was coming in, what he was going to do in this tournament. Third and seven. Looking to pick up a key third down. There goes Vic. And that is what the escape artist ability does for you, Ty. When the play breaks down, Vic can take off. Exactly. That's why you go get that Michael Vic with escape artist, able to get outside the pocket, kind of cut it up the middle, pick up a huge first down when he needed it on third. So Noah scores two plays into his first drive scheme and picks up a first down on third and seven. Back into the shotgun formation, and it's going to be Vic running that quarterback power, patiently trying to find some room. But we saw from Noah at the Madden Challenge that defense is his specialty. Oh, without a doubt. We saw his stick work, his hit sticks abilities. I mean, I haven't seen hit sticks like that in years on Madden. I mean, they were just, he was just all over the place causing fumbles. And, you know, Scheman we saw in the club championship, he ran a lot of the QB blast uh, in that tournament. I believe he had Lamar Jackson, the quarterback. He was in the Saints playbook. But now switching up a little QB power in this double wing formation. Noah with that Madden challenge belt framed up. 
Let's everybody know at home. I'm a belt winner, the youngest belt winner in MCS history. Second and ten. Vic, pressure. Somehow gets it off, and he probably wishes he was sacked instead. Because Denzel Ward has the pick, and Denzel Ward has space. It's an instant replay from the challenge. The defense putting up points for Noah. The defense once again steps up for young Noah, and he gets a huge pick six, pressured the quarterback, caused a hit, and scheming threw it up. Noah capitalizes. Wow, what a dagger. How many times did we see at the Madden Challenge? Pressure, pick sixes, and that really takes the pressure off of Noah's entire offense. It doesn't really matter what you're running. When your defense is putting points on the board, storming out to a 14-0 lead, here in this first game, as we take a look at this one more time, Ty, it was it was all created by that pressure. Yeah, Noah brought the heat, able to hit the quarterback, and there's that Denzel Ward with an easy pick, goes untouched, all that speed to the end zone. You gotta love seeing the effort from Anthony Munoz, just trying to get there, trying to make a tackle, but Denzel Ward, the former Ohio State Buckeye, showing off the wheels, first and 10, down by 14. Throwing the first turnover here in Group C. He's going to hand the ball off to Chris Johnson. Great blocking downfield, but there's the hit stick from Noah. We're going to see that a couple more times. Man, those hit sticks are incredible. And I like that play call by Scheman. I think he found something there. I want to see him go back to that more here in the game, a little halfback base. Uh, Noah in that looks like 2-3-6 formation. Not great versus these inside zone runs up the middle. So let's see if Scheman can stick to that, keep you moving down the field. And drop back to pass, gets out of the pocket with Vic. And it looked like he was about to chuck it up to the post route down the field, but Frank Clark, the power specialist, says, hold on there. Looked like he had that deep post, and he tried to throw it, but he doesn't, he should have tried, to, he probably could have thrown that on the run. He does have that dashing dead eye. I'm surprised he tried to set his feet and throw it. Big mistake, and now a big third and three here. Scheming down 14, he's got to convert. Only lost a yard on the play, though, as he's going to challenge the user, and he's going to get the catch. Oh, Megatron making mega plays. Risky, risky pass, but Scheman talked about it. That Calvin Johnson, I'm going to throw some wild things to him. He's been my biggest player these last few months. I built my offense around him, and as you see there, he throws it up to him on that post route and able to convert. Wow, what a play. You got to risk it for the biscuit, and Scheman is already rolling the dice. Handoff, Chris Johnson. Nowhere to go up the middle near the end of this first quarter. And that will take us to the end of the first quarter. 14 0. Noah on top, a half dominated by his defense. Yeah, you couldn't really start the game worse if you're scheming. I mean, a pick six, easy touchdown, the second play for Noah. And if you know, you couldn't start better. So, really, a whole different style right here for both guys. Let's see what scheming going to the bunch, pistol bunch. And trying to get away from Ward, he does, but Marshawn Lattimore backs up. His former Ohio State teammate with a sack sets up a third and 15. Asking Scheman what his keys were success. He says offensive execution, looking to bring new looks to the table to counter the meta. And so far, Noah's been prepared for this Baltimore Ravens playbook that Bam is running out of. Third and 15, Calvin Johnson in the slot. Three-man, four-man rush from Noah as he rolls outside the pocket, was looking for the backside dig. It's not there. He'll pick up two, but he faces a fourth and long. That's the beauty of disguising your coverage. Scheman thought he was rushing the whole team. Noah only rushed three, so Scheman motion blocked. Only had two routes out there versus seven defenders in coverage, and now he's going to punt down 14. This is the worst possible start for Scheman. Yeah, Scheman says, when asked about his group, he said, I feel like my group slept on, but who cares? I only care that I make it out of it. Best case as a one seed. Now he's going to need to find some defense to slow down Noah as he gave up a touchdown to Bo Jackson on two plays on the first offensive drive. And, you know, that touchdown, is that's not a great punt. Let's talk about that for a second. We've seen many great special teams plays, but out of bounds at the 26-yard line has given Noah some pretty good field position. Not a great punt at all, to your point. You know, Scheman playing, you know, he's a very seasoned veteran, a lot of experience, but playing a little bit nervous here to start the game. He's going to have to st come up with a defensive stop versus run heavy attack now. As Bo Jackson takes the carry, it's going to go back to that early touchdown from Bo Jackson. We know he has that human joystick ability. For the people at home who don't know what that is, you know, what, what element does that bring to an already great running back? 
So it gives you even better user control. It's going to allow you to kind of maneuver in the open field even easier. Uh, really makes the how it was in last the last past Maddens, where you can really just use your guy way better than you wouldn't if you didn't have the ability. I think it's probably one of the best abilities in the game, especially if you're a run-heavy player like Noah is. Yeah, who, who remembers the fun of every running back in Madden 17, Madden 18, Madden 19? You never had to let go of that turbo button. Just let it, just hold it down, and, and you'll be able to swerve as much as you want. Jackson outside, right. He's got some room. He's got a first down out of bounds at the 44-yard line so far. Noah using that ground and pound attack to pick up those first downs. And you see on that play, that human joystick, it makes your defender, it makes it so difficult for you to use or tackle him in open space. So hard to make the defender get him, uh, suction to tackle him. And Noah, I mean, Bam's got to find an answer. Noah's making this look too easy. First and 10, that Eli Manning under center, it's an 11 cap QB. So if you're looking for some passing from the two-time Super Bowl champion, it's probably not going to be happening a whole lot. He's a handoff machine. Utilizing that clock already, running it down. The play clock at one second. He'll snap the ball and give it to Bo Jackson. Nice shoestring tackle the 48-yard line. And we remember what Noah was like at the challenge. His mom there by his side. He said that both of his parents have been huge supporters of his entire Madden jersey even, journey, even though at first they didn't understand it. And I feel like every Madden player at home knows what it's like trying to explain to their parents exactly what the MCS is. No, without a doubt. It takes him a while to understand, but but Noah did say that he ha they have his full support now. So once they learn uh, what's going on and when you win a belt, you win $35,000 like Noah did, then they really start to understand. So that you love to see that support by families uh, for these guys. And Noah just making this look so easy on offense right now. Bam's got to get something going. Yo Noah using the clock perfectly as well. Yeah, he said that, you know, his mom was with him because his dad doesn't like to fly. And you want to talk about a benefit of quarantine. Both his parents are just in the other room, and he can celebrate those victories with both of them. And, the, you know, he's not hoping to have to be consoled after any defeats. It's, look at Bo Jackson. There's that human joystick on full display, winding and weaving like an icy road. Look how glitchy that human joystick is. Oh, my goodness. And Noah, you know, staying in that weak close flex formation, flipped, which we saw a lot from Volterax in his club championship run, staying in that formation, and Bam doesn't have an answer for it. That might be the 335 wide beater it looks like so far. Looking at Scheman's cap, did spend 613 cap on defense compared to 498 on offense. But as we mentioned, no defensive abilities, no secure tacklers, no unfakeables, nothing like that. He is trusting the pure overalls and ratings of his defense. Jackson on first down gets outside, and he picks up eight. And you see what Noah likes to do. A lot of what we saw yesterday in Group B and on in Group A with the runners, it's utilizing that clock and limiting possessions. Yep, without a doubt. And if Noah can just use this clock and get three, go up 17 points going into half, I mean, he's in perfect position. He doesn't even need a, a touchdown here. He's just trying to use all this clock, take his field goal. And looking at Scheman's defensive line, he d I think that might be a problem here. He only has about 84 overalls on his defensive line, so he did not spend cap there. Um, and that looks like a problem so far for him. He cannot get any penetration. He cannot stop this run. Yeah, 84, Yannick Ngakwe, 85, Fletcher Cox, 84, Carlos Dunlap. That's a 99, Bo Jackson picking up another first down. Eight carries for 120. I'm doing my quick math. That's over 13 yards a carry. Yeah, and, you know, Scheman having flashbacks. You know, Scheman made that great run in the club championship, but then in the Final Four he did run into Volterax, who was running the same type of offense, and the same thing has given him problems here in the Madden Bowl. Look at Bo Jackson breaking tackles. That's the other element that Bo brings as a running back. And, and we saw it even with Gail Sayers a little bit, but to a next level. Bo falls forward through a lot of these tackles, and those extra two or three yards are crucial. Without a doubt, and you know, we know that speed, ability, ratings all matter, but sometimes I really do think height and weight come into play as well. We know Bo Jackson, you know, kind of a bigger build, able to fall forward. He does have some good traits as well. So those type of things are small things that you don't really think of, but sometimes they're important when it comes to competitive Madden. Second and five into that strong eye formation. Only a second offensive drive of the game. He's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line. This time, Scheman able to get in the backfield and use this final timeout. He knows how important it is to just get the ball back and get points before the half. Scheman very frustrated right now. Noah's in a prime position. Even if he doesn't convert here, he's going to hold Scheman down to about 20 seconds left, up three possessions. Just a great first half by Noah. He could not have planned this any better. 
There goes Jackson outside on third and six. And nice defense from Scheman, able to bring him down and maybe Scheman finding some run. The question is, is it already too late? Down 14 nothing, about to be possibly down 17 nothing. as that tackle comes in bounds, even more crucial. You make a great point. I mean, Scheman's offense has not looked very, you know, like he can go down the field. He's, you know, he's kind of throwing these QB powers, throwing underneath. So with the way he's playing offense so far, it's going to be tough. Right there, very unfortunate. Noah was able to stay in bounds. If he, if he would have been able to go out, if he would have went out of bounds, Scheman would be very happy. He would have had way more time. Now he's only going to have about 20 seconds. It's going to be very difficult to get any points before half. That play clock bleeding away. I love Noah there taking the delay a game. Because that, that's a play that a lot of people maybe don't think about. But what's five yards on what is a, now a 44-yard field goal? Very makeable. And he gets that extra second off the clock as the ball is down and the kick is up. And it is good. 17-0 the way of that Madden 20 Challenge champion. You see that belt on his desk showing it off. Yeah, you made a great point right there. Taking that extra one or two seconds with the delay is so important. Using every ounce of that play clock, uh, that game clock, excuse me, to, to windle it down now to 20 seconds is very valuable. Great, great uh, management by Noah right there. And now Scheman, he's going to try to do something. He's only got 20 seconds, so you're going to look for maybe a deep post, a deep corner out, and get out of bounds as fast as possible. I'm sorry, does Scheman have a giant challenge novelty check on his wall? I'm pretty sure that's a giant novelty check. I love it. <laughs> Who doesn't love hanging up the, the Ed McMahon style checks on the wall as a reminder of your successes that's going to be the end of the first half 17 nothing noah on top and you. and td looking at this first half I, I mean the short answer is noah very dominant and scheming even if he doesn't win even though it's only the first game he's got to put points on the board for that possible all-important tiebreaker it's been domination at its finest, but like you said, yeah, Scheman, he's got to get something going, man. This offense does not look great. If he wants momentum going the next game, he's got to get something going, get some points here. Halftime here in game one of Group C. It is the defending Madden Challenge champion, Noah, up 17-0 over Bam Scheman. Guys, did you know that some of the competitors you're seeing today are in the game as coaches? If you look in the Ultimate Team menu for the competitive tab, you'll find the new Madden Bowl-themed game day program. You can get Madden Pro players such as Drini, Kiv, Clef, Mills and Henry as coaches. Plus, you can get MCS uniforms and lots of other exclusive content. Make sure you guys check it out and get your hands on it as we take a look at today's match schedule. How about some of these battles we've got? Little Man and Clef the God, Scheman and Clef in Game 4, and then Game 5, the one that I think everyone has had circled, the rematch of the Madden Challenge Final, Clef the God taking on no remember games five and six to be played simultaneously what a schedule we have coming up here in group c this one we have here uh 17 nothing to noah and, and we look at the youngest competitors here in the madden bowl td noah only 17 years old everybody talks about henry as a young gun but noah's got the belt and he's only a shade older than henry yeah, we'll see Henry tomorrow, and he almost came close to the belt, but no, at 17 years old, already with a belt. Just phenomenal how good these guys are at such a young age. We talk about how Drini has two belts, and he can't even get into a bar right now. I mean, none of us can get into a bar right now, but he can't get into a bar legally. <laughs> no, can't even vote yet, and he's got a belt. 17 nothing. It is all no in this one. Scheming with a great opportunity. Starting off with the ball first, and he's going to try to run that QB power. Vic, and he picks up a nice gain on first down. 12 yards to the 34-yard line. Finally, he breaks a run with that QB power, and now Scheming, he's got to get into some type of groove. Get this offense flowing a little bit. Get back to what you've been laughing, what you've been practicing. you got to find some type of spark. Vic, 6,109 career rushing yards. As he drops back, trying to escape the pressure, he'll throw this one away. Once again, Noah showing some good pass defense, holding him to only scheming to only 12 yards passing so far. Yeah, scheming, you know, he kind of had some things open there. His route combination wasn't great, but he just kind of ran out right away. Let's see, he's going to this trips tight end. Look for, look for a crossing route here. Vic dropping back. Offensive line trying to hold up, but they can't. And you hear Noah already. He knows Scheman can't even hear him, but he feels like he can project some of this capping right at his opponent. 
That 2-3-6 is some of the best pass defense we've seen this year, and Noah using it perfectly. Those sheds are coming at scheme, and he doesn't know what to do. He's getting nervous in the pocket. He's got to make something happen, a big third and 12, step up in the pocket, make a play. It's a key drive in the game for Schema to stay alive. It's on third and 12, he drops back. Four-man rush from hey, Noah. Nothing open downfield, and nothing Clearly open back. for Vic to get out of the pocket. Jadavian Clowney with the sack. He's not going to be a Seahawk this year, but right now he's on Noah's defense. Yeah, just great defense again. Scheman could have stayed in the pocket a little bit longer. He's getting a little antsy, and just nothing open. Great coverage by Noah, and man, this is domination right now by young Noah. Unbelievable journey for Noah says he started playing Madden back in Madden 10. I'm doing my math here. We're in Madden 20. That's 10 years ago. He's 17. So seven years old. He picked up his first Madden game. And you know, TD, I, I almost feel like he, he probably started capping right about the age of eight. <laughs> I'm sure he was a loud child to deal with. But you love to see that passion as Bo Jackson is out in open space. There goes Bo. Nice tackle. Nice job just slowing him up. No one's going. How can Bo Jackson be brought down by anybody? Oh, man. You can see Noah Kappen. He's feeling himself. He's in a groove. Up 17 with ball. He's going to use all this clock now. And he's on his path to a nice one on. start here. Hold on. Did Noah just call Bo Jackson kid? Wait a second. Hold on. He's got to be full health. He got to get out of there, man. I don't even know who called him. I don't think he has any. That was Pat Pete running him down. Who him? Call him Bo Jackson kid. Oh, man. I can't imagine where we'd be if we didn't have these mics on these players. Today, if you want, if you want some good uh, entertainment from the players, this is the group to listen to. I mean, can you imagine what the audio techs are going to have to do, TD, with little man on the mic? Oh, man. We know how Noah is. Scheming has that passion. Little man is so loud all the time, always coming at you. And then Clef, we know, has that star. He's like a superstar out there. He's got that swag. He'll be emotional as well. So, man, it's the underdog group, like we said. But, man, these guys have that fire and that passion is what you love to see here in competitive Madden. Yeah, we asked Noah, you know, what was, what was your biggest win this year? And he said when he beat Kiv in the challenge, he said that was the game that told him I was going to win the whole thing. He said that win told me I was picking up that belt. And guess what he did as Noah runs outside. Look at that stat line. 14 carries, 170 for Bo Jackson. Just beautiful clock management as well. Noah getting it down, hiking it at one, wasting all this third quarter. Scheming really selling out now against the run. Uh, he's got his safeties and spies. Look like he even ran commit there, trying everything he can to get off the field. And you look at that clock management, TD, it, it's, he's 17 years old. He's playing like a Madden veteran. Yeah, and that's what you need to do here in these, on this grand stage, on these big live events or online events now. Joystick. It's Bo Jackson again. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, he gave Ben Reed the Joystick. shake. And once you oh give him the gosh, shake, you got to give him the whole nine time. yards to the house for Bo Jackson. Scheman's going to need Noah's Ark because the floodgates are open. It's raining hard. The water's coming down, and poor Bam down 24 to nothing here in the third quarter. It's not over. Come on. The flood is here. He says it's not over, but two by two. Noah's bringing the touchdowns to the house. It is 24 to nothing here in game one of Group C. As one more time, we take a look at Bo Jackson. Two words, human joystick. Human joystick, a little cut inside, outside, and just too much speed on that stretch call. Easily in the end zone, 24 0 Noah. Sir, Frank Clark. Good play, kid. No, uh, there's no oh, human joystick on Mike pass. Vick, and you can he see it there. It's pass. that little stutter step. Can't get through the line. Noah's just calling everyone kid line, out bro. here. Like, does he not know he's the 17 year old out here? <laughs> there's no mirror in his room, okay? He, he, he pictures himself. Like maybe he's Benjamin Button. Who knows? Maybe he could be 80 years old looking oh, like a 17-year-old. I mean, Look at the left side, Calvin, Calvin Johnson. Johnson. Scheman said he was going to throw it up to him, and Noah Look says, no way. Yeah, just not a smart play. I mean, cover two look. He's trying to throw a streak. I know he's got that Calvin Johnson streak specialist, but still just not a calculated, uh, you know, progression or read right there. And third and nine now. scheman has got to cook something up. It's getting ugly. I may have streak specialists. There's nothing special about that play. Oh Third and nine. I mean, Look at right so side. Gross. Throws it right at yeah. Troy P. Oh Lurker so activated for Noah and scheming. Rubbing his forehead going, man, oh, man, I wanted another one of those big checks. 
Noah just all over every route. And now at this point, if you're scheming, you got to kind of just, you know, erase this from your memory. This is just one of the, probably his worst games he's ever played, you know, on these live stages. He's been in a lot of big games. Oh, it's yeah, one of his worst really performances, but he's going to have the chance to bounce back. He's only 0-1. You can go 2-1 and like we saw Kib do yesterday. So there's plenty of life, but this game looks like it's all but over. And, and listen, you, you know, 17 years old, wins that challenge. You still heard those rumors. Noah, Noah said he still plays with a chip on his shoulder because people view him as an underdog. And I get this is his first game of Group C, and there's a lot of action to come. But Noah is for real, and I think he's proving it here in this first game. Without a doubt. I mean, if you win a belt, you become on one of those top players. And like I said, I mean, this guy is considered maybe the top player in the sport right now. He is the defending Madden Challenge champion, which was the last MCS tournament we had. So this is no guy you want to play around with, no guy to take, you know, for granted. This is a serious player. He's got his tag at the top as NXT because he said he was Noah up next. He's going to have to change it to N-O-W because Noah's up now. 24 to nothing over Bam Scheme and only five minutes left. And when you hear that, if you're scheming, you go mercifully only five minutes left. I just want to get this over with. Yeah, without a doubt. Scheming just trying to do some hit sticks, trying to do anything he can. And Noah, just with that human joystick, it just makes it so easy for you. 18 rushes, 213 yards. That human joystick makes everything so easy for you. And wow, what a performance. Bo Jackson making plays. We all know how good he is. He was two-sport athlete. He claims that he ran a 4-1-3-40 at his pro day. It was hand time, never confirmed. But after seeing what he's doing today, I might actually believe it. <laughs> and it looks like, uh, it's, looks like an easy run defense right here. I don't know what scheming's in. There goes Jackson right side, trying to get around Denzel Ward. He makes the tackle. Picking up four, second and six. Lots of action here in Group C. Uh, uh, TD, uh, we talked about Group A and B and how deep they were. C seems, you know, almost wide open. But the way Noah is feeling, it, he's got to be the favorite right now. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, a lot of people would say Clef. You know, a lot of people have Clef in their top ten players. But, I mean, I, uh, you ha it has to be Noah. This is the defending champion of the Madden Challenge. He looks dominant in this first game. How could you not have Noah as your favorite? And who did Noah beat to win that belt? Clef the God. Listen, he's had a great two years, but Noah has had his number in their only meeting. Second and six outside to the... He almost slipped into everybody. About the 17 bro. yard line. Picks up maybe a yard as we get to a third and four. Somebody get, can somebody get a, a little bit of uh, what a WD-40 for Schemen's chair? It's squeaking a little bit. <laughs> And Nick, if you remember, you know, a couple months ago, there was that 2-4-5 new meta run defense that came out that Scheming created. I mean, that run defense was insane. It was blowing up every run. Everyone was praising Scheming, and then EA, you know, came out with the patch uh, for that defense. And I think that kind of hurt Scheming. You know, he had a lot of momentum. He felt confident versus every run. And now that that 2-4-5 odd defense is gone, he's, he's in that 3-3-5 wide and, or in 3-4 and just doesn't have an answer. Well, as the kick is up, as good as 27-0, I mean, you know, as a content creator, you got your own YouTube channel. Make sure you check out my guy, TD. But as, as a content creator, somebody always laughing. When you find defenses that you can claim as your own and everybody starts using, and then it gets passed out, is there anything more frustrating? Zay! No, there's not. I, I think that's one of the most frustrating things. I know Scheme was very upset about it. But that's what happens. You got to kind of just adjust with the times. You got to get in the lab. And we talked to Scheme, and you know, he said he's been watching a lot of film. He said his reps were kind of light, but he's been mainly watching film. But in this first game, 27 to nothing. He, he's probably not going to want to watch a whole lot of film from this one as Chris Johnson outside to the 30 yard line. He, he, his offense, it's been about as squeaky as his chair. It has not been fluid. Noah has been clogging up the running lanes. He's been getting after the quarterback as Chris Johnson to carry up the middle. That probably is best game of the day with 14. Yeah, you kind of want to just get some points on the board here if you're scheming. Uh, if you're Noah right there, you just kind of you don't care about giving up these chunk plays. You want to get that clock moving. But scheming, definitely try to get some points on the board here. Remember, we're in group play, so point differential is very important. You want to get as many points as you can. Clock under two and a half as Vic outside looking for that corner out down the field. He'll throw to the playmaker, John Roth. A second completion of the day and scheming. Uh, was that a dot or was that a prayer? 
was a terrible read, nice, but fortunately for Steeman, he's six. able to convert oh it. Oh my God, just, and yeah, you can hear Noah saying it should have been a pick six. That's Very the lucky play. Right now. I can't imagine what this game would look like if they were playing in the same room with Noah calling Scheman blind. I mean, talk about the psychology of Madden players. But take it out being at home. You gotta do what you gotta do. Stay in safe. Hope everybody at home is staying safe and healthy. It's a five yard game for Vic. Scheman just has no answers. No answers at all. He's got that those stock fade routes on this play. I just noticed that. That can kind of work first cover too, but Noah's just doing everything he can, just locking up everything. Look at a little playmaker up the sidelines. How about John Ross with another catch? Scheme is wondering where this offense was earlier. Yeah, he's freestyling now. He should do this a little bit earlier. You know, that's what kind of happens, you know, late in the game when you're kind of losing, you try to find things. So maybe he's found something now. This playmaker, you know, rolling out can work into the second game. These points, yeah, we, we've already seen point differential be a tiebreaker in Group A. So even though Bam's not going to win this game, just lowering that negative 27 is important. Second and goal, Vic. Three-man rush, now turning to four outside the pocket. Ooh, a little playmaker for John Ross. Ooh, that was a nice little right. double playmaker to the pylon. Oh, what? Yeah, a little playmaker dot right there. That was kind of cute. Nice nice little drive by Scheman, but a little too late. But do, those points do matter. We'll see how it comes into play here at the end of the day. But, you know, that's a little momentum going into game two. I mean, when it comes down to point differential, it, it can be only a couple points. So every touchdown matters. As Juszczyk will take this up to the 23-yard line. What a play from Scheme. And take a look at this one more time, TD. Yeah, he motioned over that Ross into like a slant out, rolled out, boom, playmaker back to the outside and able to get the feet in. Nice little play right there to get in the end zone. A little late baby zig route right at the pylon. First and 10 for Noah, up by 20, 31 seconds remaining. I'm in my, I'm in my franchise mindset right now, TD. I'm like, wait, why is Bo Jackson? You don't want him to get hurt. Oh, right, right. I've been calling these competitive games for two years, and even I still think there may be injuries. <laughs> you, you CFM nerd, but I do like CFMs. I've been playing a lot of them <laughs> lately as well. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, 27 to seven. No, it looks like he wants more points here using this bow. See, yeah, he calls his Did time. See, uh, yeah, he wants more. Did you see uh, Donnie Moore's tweet yesterday asking about what if uh, we put some injuries in the game and the entire competitive community went, oh, hold on, wait, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, definitely not a thing we want for competitive play, but <laughs> oh. Ooh, Bo Jackson oh, again. Oh, my oh, gosh, Bo. oh, what a hit. Oh, that's got to be seven. Oh, man. He, listen, I love the equal opportunity capping. He even caps at himself when he knows he messes up. You got to love having 250 rushing yards on the board and telling yourself that your stick Damn, sucks. Bro. 25 carries, 245 as Noah spikes it. He's looking to get back to that 27-point differential. Yeah, we'll see one more run call right here. We'll see if that joystick comes through for him. We'll see if we can see some nice stick work. Last play of the game, trying to punch it in. If you're scheming, you don't want to give up a touchdown here. Final play of this first game of Group C. Tons of action to come as Jackson could blocking on the outside. And he'll be taken down to the 38-yard line. It's a final. It was all Noah in this one, 